Hello, folks. My name is Bala. Um, I have been working with the Knox team since about, about two and a half years now. So it's been a very pleasant journey so far. Uh, before I came to the Knox networking team, I was part of the Trazone application development team. Uh, I hope some of you have got a chance to attend the Tima sessions, which were there yesterday by Murli. And, uh, very, very interesting security foundation that is being set up by Knox in general. So uh, I want, I've been asked to remind you that you guys have to fill out the session survey after the session and <laughs> you get a chance to enter the raffle, so make sure you do that. And I'm going to annoy you again at the end of the session and say this again. <laughs> okay, so let's get started for benefit of time. <coughs> So the agenda for today so is going to be essentially a, a breeze through about what the Knox networking framework is. Networking is always fascinating, and Knox is extremely fascinating. And I think these worlds together is going to be really interesting. And I want to also brush upon the fact, uh, on some facts on what is uh, so special about Knox networking and what's in it for an IT administrator or mobile device manager. What's the incentive? Why really work with Knox? And what do you really gain out of Knox networking? I'm going to give you some details on um, the value additions which the Knox networking framework provides to different network application developers out there. Um, we are going to talk about a lot of optimizations, high performance features, which the platform gives or offers to you which you can leverage and do cooler things with whatever your application already does. And from our past experience with integrating with major VPN vendors and network application developers, I wanted to share some guidelines on what you should and you shouldn't be doing with Knox so that it's, you know, so that you just keep this in the back of your mind. So this is essentially what I'm going to talk about today. So Knox platform security is probably the biggest uh, uh, selling point of Knox. You know, security has been built ground up from hardware, ARM, and trust zone, and going to secure trusted boots, and then obviously up to SE Android in the kernel and things like that. You have a very good foundation there with containerization and things like that in the Android framework. So what we do with this foundation now is uh, build many, many different things, where uh, one of these is the Knox networking framework, and you have the SSO framework and things like that, which are essentially catering to many enterprise applications. So that's the goal, right? So you want to build on these fundamentals. So if you are familiar with developing, let's say, a network application, uh, a VPN application, you are familiar with the Android VPN service. So this is a very a um, common paradigm for developing these network apps in Android. And you just pass in a different kind of data structure to us, and that's about the change you need to do. There are small pins which you need to implement to actually just plug into this Knox networking framework. So you could be a VPN application today. You could be doing something very different. Uh, you could be doing some per, uh, per application quality of service. You can do malware analysis, deep packet inspection. I don't know what. There is so many fancy things you can do in your head end. But sir, there are some uh, basic things which you need from the framework to do that. And you must have attended the session about the MDM APIs, the Knox SDK APIs, and things like that for the mobile device manager to actually plug in. So both these entities are actually implementing small pins to really come and sit on this networking framework and MDM framework. So now we have a symbiotic relationship. So MDM clients really don't know about the Knox networking guys they are working with, with Knox is working with. But they have one single implementation, and they are pretty much integrated with all the vendors we work with. And we'll go into what uh, kind of vendors are already integrated with Knox and what benefits entail an MDM who actually comes and works with us. And we'll also go into how the Knox framework is going to benefit these VPN and network optimization applications. <coughs> and today, for as a network app developer, you may not have any enterprise presence, or you may have very minimal enterprise presence. And this is a great way for you to provide the value addition you're already giving to network application, uh, to your network application users in the enterprise space. So this is a nice way to transition. 
And also, uh, you leverage some of the features which we provide. I'm going to provide some details, and this may give you some ideas. So the, uh, one of the important goals for me today is to tell you what Knox has to offer. And in my opinion, there is only a limit on your imagination what you can do with these things which is already being offered. So there are a lot of things which we, at this point in time, are also not able to uh, think completely through. Right? So that's, uh, I, want you to, I want to set the stage. I want to let you know what you have, and I want to encourage you to leverage all this. <coughs> For device administrators, you are already, we are already a growing ecosystem. There are so many VPN and application developers who are already integrated with us, and that's constantly growing as we speak. And you are one implementation on the device is essentially enabling you to manage or control all these for various enterprises. So that's, that's uh, the benefit. Uh, for the administrators, other than this single implementation, you have so much configuration varieties, uh, fine-grained control, and you have flexible deployment options. Many MDMs we have worked with in the past have told us, I really don't know at this point in time what my customer wants, but this is great. At the same time, we told, oh man, these are too many options for us, and this is confusing. I don't know what to do and what to implement, things like that. So it is good to have all this variety and control, but at the same time, we want to make it as simplistic in terms of going to deployment and going, you know, to production, right? So we we want to show you both sides of this uh, aspect of the networking framework. So, like I mentioned, uh, I don't want you to worry about integrating with so many network app developers out there. You just come work with Knox, and we are already there, plugged in with these other different application developers. At the same time, you we want we want you to talk about your customer needs. It could be a department of defense, it could be a sensitive government customer. They have various different security requirements, certification requirements, and so many other convoluted, complicated things. Talk to us. It's very likely that some of these things have already been addressed you know, by our framework. And you'll see by integrating with us how many options really unravel in front of you. <coughs> so this is uh, the engineer on the right in Knox having a conversation with a beautiful administrator on the left. And uh, she's asking me questions like, I want an SSL VPN tunnel. I want an IPsec VPN tunnel. Can I have both? And I say, sure. You can have one tunnel inside the other two if you want. I said, sure, I would like flexibility in the integrity in encryption algorithms I use because I'm working with a DoD customer who has the specific AES, GCM, Suite B compliant protocols I want to use, and blah, blah. I said, sure, no problem. We would like, pre, you have pre-shared key authentication, you have XAuth based authentication, and you just go on and on and fill out a checklist. Pretty much you have an existing deployment or network application which we all already integrated with, which can solve, the, solve your problem. So we have seen this many times before where you say, I really don't know what my customer fully wants at this point in time, but I just want to you know, see what you can do. And they have never been disappointed. They just come integrate with us, and it has always solved their problems when it comes to deployment and field issues. Right? So there are also many things like we can automatically start your tunnels on reboot and uh, start them only when required and things like that. These are all framework offerings which both the admin as well as uh, the network application developer is completely agnostic to. So the administrator only has to say, ah, I want this yay or nay, and that's it, and pretty much. So it's just a configuration. And hopefully this lady is happy with me and she's happy with the options she can give her customers. There is also the granularity aspect. You have configuration options. You have a lot of switches which you can control for and solve a deployment problem for your customers. At the same time, you want to say, you know, I don't want all this traffic to really go to the head end. I don't want everything to go to the enterprise. You know, some things need to be handpicked selectively to you know, monitor. Let's say you have the Knox workspace. Uh, our containerization isolation solution from Knox, and you want to say only the workspace traffic needs to be in the enterprise. Or you want to say only hand-picked applications like you know, Chrome and your email client needs to go into the head and everything else I really don't care about. Things like that, the granularity is very, very important. So your configuration 
uh, comes free with your granular options which you can. So this is uh, very flexible. So you can just say Chrome traffic can go on one tunnel and uh, Dropbox can go on another, email can go on something else. You can do many fancy things and uh, that is what I'm, I mean by saying granularity. And this is very important and this is something our customers in the past have really liked. Uh, some of this is the Parap VPN uh, solution, some of uh, which I will talk about a little ahead also. And there are some new additions to Android L which have Parap VPN, but they come with additional features in the Knox networking framework. So we are going to talk about all these things. <coughs> so when it comes to granular traffic, this lady again asks me, I want the entire device traffic to be encrypted. I said, don't do that. I mean, that's not really necessary. Typically, your ad enterprise really cares about Chrome or your email client. Just have these applications go through VPN and everything else is fine. And a lot of people just have our Knox workspace traffic going to, going to the head end and solve all the problems. And put all the applications which have to be monitored in the enterprise into the Knox workspace. So like I mentioned, administrators come and work with Knox. And you'll see that this ecosystem is really growing as we speak. And you have one integration effort, and you have we have already so many partners and vendors who are actually working with us, right? So some of these uh, applications who have already integrated with Knox are the Mukana uh, client, the Cisco AnyConnect, F5. We also have OpenVPN, Pulse Secure. So OpenVPN, so some of our customers like open source. So uh, there are so many other options, and we are also expanding, and this uh, option is fully growing at this point in time. We are also trying to see if we can manage the default settings VPN client on the device, and many other cool things which are coming up. And so I encourage you to look forward to these uh, additions and on Knox compatible applications. <coughs> OK, what is the value in the Knox networking framework? So, so far I spoke about uh, administrators and what you really benefit. And if you're a network application developer who does some cool things with packets, um, it could be some per app quality of service in your uh, head end. And you have a very convoluted way of determining who generated these packets and things like that. So there are many things which the framework can offer uh, which you can totally leverage in your head end. <clears throat> I'll give you some examples of these features. And um, just throwing these ideas out there, and you can take, think over this, sleep over this, and you'll see that there are so many things you can actually do with it. Right. Chaining network applications. So we work with so many network application developers. But we want, uh, what I want to emphasize is the, we are not really working with a genre of network application developers. It's not like, VPN application developers. You're talking about quality of service or optimization, or it could be anything, right? So this framework is generic enough to address any of these class of applications, right? So this is very common customer need that they want to do nested IPsec. I want to do IPsec inside IPsec because DOD and they have some requirements. Or I want uh, VPN traffic to go to the carrier network for separate, separate billing or counting bytes or many different things. So the framework has been designed in a very generic way. So this could be a very intricate chaining requirement where you have packets which have to be VPN and subsequently processed by a different kind of network application. Right? So chaining is this application. And I will show you some uh, uh, representations on how this works and so that you can understand more visually how this Per packet metadata for fine-grained optimization. Now, uh, sometimes you need this additional information about what this packet is, where did it come from, which application generated it, and where. what do I do with it in the head end? Do I drop it? Do I police it? Do I shape it? Things like that. You have so many complicated things you can do in the enterprise, right? But you need to know. You need some additional information, metadata on the packets to really make this decision, whether it's on device or in your head end or in your enterprise or in your gateway or whatever, right? So we have the ability in the Knox networking framework to provide this additional metadata to you 
in a more efficient way because we are part of the framework and we own the entire software stack and we can do some things in the kernel maybe and maybe in the framework and things like that. Your app doesn't need to do this compu complicated computation. It gives you better performance and things like that, right? So you can talk to us we, and work with us and see if you need any special information and we can always uh, work out something and uh, implement it for you. On-demand tunnel establishment and teardown uh, is, is uh, simple but so important sometimes where a lot of VPN kind of traffic requires dead peer detection and this, all these control packets going up and down and a handle device, it's really not so uh, elegant uh, battery draining and things like that, right? So we have the establishment of tunnels and teardowns on a demand basis where you actually have an application which is supposed to be VPN launched and only then the VPN tunnel is established and it's dead and there is no VPN tunnel. I also already mentioned about the high granularity tunnels. This is all completely agnostic to the network application developer. That is the cool part. So you just come and plug in. You really don't know whether you're getting a specific app's traffic or you're getting a traffic of uh, the entire Knox workspace, things like that. Um, so let's talk about a little bit about chaining. So like I mentioned, there are multiple levels of optimization. So it's doing VPN and doing something else after that, you know, or doing VPN twice. So there is either security benefit or like an optimization benefit, right? So if you want to visualize this, it's just like many tunnels which can egress a Samsung device into your head end, and some tunnels are nested within the other tunnel, right? And when, when you're doing uh, this kind of uh, activity, you're typically doing like something like an IPsec and IPsec chaining, or you're just doing two levels of decryption or something like that. Sometimes you say, well, this is not enough. I want to do something more than that. I want to send it to one gateway and then pop it to another gateway. And this other gateway could be in the carrier network sitting somewhere, or it could be in your enterprise EMC doing some back, packet counting. And this is just a configuration as far as the MDM uh, is concerned. So there are two network applications. One needs to go after the other. And that's how it is visualized in the device. And it's so simple to configure for the MDM. You just change these two profiles, whether it's networking profile or a VPN profile. You just change them together. And this is what happens. Right. And the key thing is the network app, as such, doesn't really know about this. And it's fantastic doesn't have to do anything, no special implementation. Now you have per packet metadata. <coughs> uh, example, I want to know whether Chrome generated this packet so that I can do something in my head end. Let's say YouTube generated this packet and this is enterprise traffic and you really don't want to give high priority to packets which are generated by YouTube in your enterprise. So you need some information which you can carry either through to your head end, or you want to like specially tag this packet on the device itself. So either way, you as a network application developer need some additional information in, uh, a, in a very efficient way. Maybe there are very convoluted ways of determining this, but it affects your performance because you are already there in the, we are there in the framework already ready to provide this information. Right. So example would be an end user application just generates a packet and just a classic IP packet which goes to the Knox networking framework. We just append this data. And the Knox networking framework always provides this, let's say for VPN or network optimization, whatever your KNF integrated application does. The metadata is available for this application. You just either choose to strip this metadata and just do some other processing and sending it, send it out. Or you can uh, propagate this metadata in your proprietary way to your head end and do something cool too. So <coughs> this is a typical day in the life of a packet for the application. So I also wanted to discuss the uh, caveats of integrating with Knox. So a uh, lot of application developers out there are not really f uh, aware or don't really care about the multi-user framework. Sometimes you have seen problems where applications have been installed inside the Knox workspace and have some weird functionality. We, whenever you're in an admin kind of uh, scenario or you're an administered application, it is nice to really avoid user interaction and 
try to not pop things or do anything. Suddenly VPN starts connecting and things like that, and the user doesn't know because the admin triggered it remotely. Yeah. So this is a, another common problem we have seen. And uh, passwords and key management, in, as, as being part of Knox, we want to offer our customers the best in security. And there are so many things you can do to manage passwords and keys just on the Knox platform. You, if you have attended the Tima Key Store presentation, or client certificate management, everything done in Trust Zone, this is great uh, forum uh, to even discuss that and leverage these Knox platform security features to make your application A, more secure, B, more configurable for enterprise, and make your customers happy, make our customers happy. So, I want to encourage you to go to the Knox support portal, look at the Knox SDK, as well as the Network Application Developer SDK uh, documentation, and work with us if you have any questions. Send me email, and we'll be happy to answer. Uh, I'm open for questions and answers. And again, I have been asked to remind you to fill the survey. I hope you like this presentation, and uh, thank you very much. Any questions, please? Sorry? Just watch your contact. Oh, sure, sure. Sorry. <laughs> Cisco AnyConnect, Mokana, we have uh, OpenVPN for SSL. So sure the yes. So fully, integrated. fully integrated right now. OpenVPN is soon to be published as an official Samsung this thing, but. Everybody else. So Pulse Secure is formerly Juniper, so that is integrated too. So, and what else did I have on the slide? F5. Any questions about the framework features or anything you want to talk about? Say you have interesting things you want us to do in the framework. Also, is a great time to bring up to. So. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate your presence.